From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. Spring season is all set to spread its wings in India. Popularly known as Makar Sakranti, the period where winter slowly fades into spring is celebrated in different forms in different regions of the country. From Pongal to Lodi, let's see how the country welcomed Uttarayan this year. India got soaked in festive fever as it observed Makar Sakranti, the most ancient Hindu festival dedicated to God's son. During this period, sun ends its southward journey and starts moving northwards. The festival also marks the first day of sun's transit into the zodiac sign Makar or Capricorn. Though observed as harvest festival, its cultural significance as well as way of celebration varies across the country. In cities lining the holy rivers, especially Ganga like Haridwar, Ayodhya and Patna, Millions of Hindus brave the cold temperatures and begin the day by taking a dip in the holy waters. Their gesture is believed to have the power to wash away all the sins. They also make a tuladan, a tradition where devotees make offerings to priests and the poor. Makar Sankranti ke apsar pe maa Ganga ne bulaya, to bas esnan karne chalaya. Esnan karne se hi lagta hai ki man mein paavan bhavna a jati hai. मकर संक्रांति के प्रति जो श्रद्धा है इसीलिए तो हम इतने ठंड के बावजूद यहाँ नहाने आए हैं ठंड तो बहुत ज्यादा मतलब नहाने के लिए हिम्मत चाहिए और ये हिम्मत हमारी श्रद्धा से ही आई है इन स्टेट्स लाइक पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड कैपिटल न्यू दिल्ली द फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज लोरी दैट कोमेमोरेट्स द हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ द राबी और विंटर क्रॉप्स एंड ऑल्सो मार्क्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू ईयर फॉर द सिक्स The beats of drums and the inviting flames of a bonfire that defy the freezing winds marks the celebration of this auspicious occasion. As a part of the ritual, eatables such as dry fruits, popcorn, sesame seed and molasses are first thrown in the fire and later served to everyone, spreading abundance and happiness all around. आप देख ही रहे हैं लोडी का त्यौहार हर जगह बैंड बाजे बज रहे हैं और सब लोग खुशियों से मना रहे हैं इसको और ये खुशियों का त्यौहार है सब लोग एक दूसरे से मिल के मनाते हैं इसको तो आज हम सभी हमारे बेटा हुआ है पहली लोडी है और इसी के साथ हमारे सब रिश्तेदार आए हुए हैं और हम पहली लोडी आज बड़े धूमधाम से सभी लोगों के बीच में मना रहे हैं Skies of northern and western parts of India were adorned with colorful kites as kite flying is an important ritual of the festival Hundreds of people gather on their rooftops to fly kites and even battle against each other for aerial supremacy. Kite festivals were also organized all around the country where locals and tourists enjoy the winter breeze and flew kites. बहुत ज्यादा पतंगे उड़ती हैं आज के दिन स्पेशली आज जो होती है वो हम लोग की सालाना पतंग पे होती है एक ही कलर की पतंग उड़ती है जैसे एक कलर मैं नीला उड़ाऊंगा तो ये भाई जो है ये हरा उड़ा सकते हैं तो ऐसे करके पतंग लड़ती है आज के दिन ऐसे ही पतंग रखी जाती है जिसमें तहरी भोज भी होता है हम लोगों का इन तमिलनाडु मकर संक्रांति इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज पोंगल ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल वुमेन मेक ब्यूटीफुल रंगोलीज कुक राइस एंड मिल्क इन अर्दन पॉट्स एंड वॉच इट ओवरफ्लोइंग आफ्टर एडिंग फ्रेशली हार्वेस्टेड ग्रीन्स इट इज ऑफर्ड टू गॉड्स सन व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ साइन ऑफ अबंडेंस एज इट ब्रिंग्स फॉर्च्यून टू फार्मर्स लाइफ पोंगल इसलिए बना रहा है तो अपन किसान लोग नया चावल फसल निकालने के बाद पहले चावल सूर्य भगवान का सूर्य शक्ति नहीं है तो कुछ नहीं हो सकता है सूर्य शक्ति को धन्यवाद देते हुए नेचर को धन्यवाद देते हुए आज सूर्य पोंगल है नाउ इफ यू पैन टुवर्ड्स नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया द फेस्टिवल इज ऑब्जर्वड एज भोगाली बिहू स्पेशली इन असम During the occasion people erect a traditional bonfire called mechi a house made of straw and burn it during the celebration 
Various types of rice cakes and other sweets are also prepared during the festival. Assam me har prant me bada ho ya brahmaputra ho, pahar ho ya ghati ho, har prant me as bhugali bhi ho, mag bhi ho manaya ja raha hai, bade dhumdham se. Kisano ka tyohar hai aur sare desh me alag alag namu se makar shankranti ko aaj bade किसान और हमारी देश के जनता बहुत भक्ति भावनाओं से इसको मना रहा है मैं सबको आज देश की जनता को विशेष रूप से किसान जनता को मैं हृदय से शुभकामना देता हूं Makar Sankranti is not only a festival but also the symbol of life which shows the incredible diversity of cultures and traditions in India as entire nation welcomes the harvest season amidst the freezing temperature in frosty nights and fog, this festival brings warmth of joy and happiness. A hallmark of India is its diversity. People from different religious and cultural backgrounds live here amicably. It is this unity that brings people from different walks of life to the Urs of the Sufi saint Nangabaji Sahib in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. Take a look. Every year thousands of pilgrims and visitors cutting across barriers of caste, creed and religions make their way to a shrine located on a hilltop in Brevi village of Kalakot constituency. A large mass of people reach the hilltop to commemorate annual Urs of Hazrat Sayyid Ghulam Rasul Shah. Popularly known as Nanga Baji Sahib, the Sufi saint is revered among Hindus, Muslims and other religious communities residing in Jammu and Kashmir. Today, we have come here Punjab and Haryana. से लोग आए हुए हैं ये एक अकीदत है लोगों की इस दरबार के साथ तभी इतनी लाखों की तादाद में लोग आज शिरकत थे नहीं तो आज एक वक्त ऐसा है कि जहां पे लोग नहीं जाते किसी भी ऐसे तो ये ऐसा दरबार है जहां पे लोग हजारों की तादाद में हर साल शरीक होते आते हैं और शिरकत करते हैं और डेली बेसिस पे भी यहाँ पे लोग आते हैं Following the footsteps of this great Sufi saint, his grandson Sayyid Muzaffar Hussain Shah Baji invites people from all faiths to his residence to commemorate the Urs. It is believed that Sufi saints' blessings work as medicines for all the ailments of his devotees. The blessings are served in form of langar, a grand meal for his devotees who come a long way to offer prayers in obeisance of their beloved master. हर मजहब का आदमी आपको यहाँ मिलेगा हर तबके का आदमी आपको यहाँ मिलेगा ये सबसे बड़ी बात है और मैं समझता हूँ कि ये सीख लेने की बात है तमाम उन लोगों को जो लोग मजहब के नाम पर समाज के नाम पर लोगों को बांटने की कोशिश करते हैं ये वाद एक ऐसा दरबार है जम्मू खिता में जहाँ पे आपसी भाईचारा और प्यार और सबको जोड़ने का दर्द दिया जाता है तो इसके लिए एक बहुत बड़ी बात है ये ये पैगाम जो है हम चाहते हैं कि समाज में हर कोने में जाए और समाज में प्यार मोहब्बत और भाईचारा बढ़े यही हमारी दुआ है Sitting on a high chair during the Urs celebration of his grandfather Sufi Sain Sayyid Muzaffar Hussain Shah Baji observed harmonious proceedings carried out in the valley Irrespective of their caste and religion people offer obeisances to the saint and get his blessings in return it simply reaffirms the fact that amity between different religious communities has been a way of life in India since ages and it will continue to strengthen the social fabric in times to come. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. India celebrated its 75th Army Day in southern Bengaluru city, marking the first celebration of the annual event outside New Delhi. Various regiments of the Indian Army participated in the parade and performed stunts as a show of their strength. The Chief of Indian Army was accorded with the Guard of Honor before he addressed the event. This is the first time when the Army Day Parade और उससे जुड़े अन्य कार्यक्रम राजधानी दिल्ली से बाहर आयोजित किए जा रहे हैं इससे सेना को देशवासियों से जुड़ने का सुनहरा मौका मिला है मुझे यकीन है कि इससे हमारे रिश्ते और मजबूत होंगे 
India celebrates its Army Day every year, marking Field Marshal K. M. Karyappa's taking over as the first Chief of Indian Army from General Francis Butcher, who was the last British Chief of Indian Army in the year 1949. Locals and tourists in Kashmir reveled in joy as Srinagar city turned into a winter wonderland. During winters, holidaying crowds from the plains of India and other parts prefer to spend their time in the states of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Jammu and Kashmir to experience snowfall. Tourists bhi yahan par aate hain, wo bhi baraf ka maza lete hain. बहुत अच्छा लगता है उनको गुलमर्ग में भी जाना यहाँ पर भी श्रीनगर में भी अच्छा लग रहा है स्नो कवर्ड पार्क एंड रोड मेड फॉर अंडेड लैंडस्केप टूरिस्ट मेड द मोस्ट ऑफ द वेदर एज दे वर सीन क्लिकिंग फोटोग्राफ एंड प्लेइंग विद स्नो And now we will take you to Aurangabad city of Maharashtra where showcasing a gesture of religious unity and brotherhood a muslim man had given his land for organizing Shiv Puran a 5 day long hindu religious program take a look India is a country where examples of peaceful coexistence and religious harmony could be easily spotted in every nook and corner of the country It is quite common to see people of different religious communities not just actively participating in each other's festivals but also contributing to them in all possible ways. A recent example was seen in the Parvani town of Maharashtra where a Muslim family offered 60 acres of land for organizing Shiv Puran a 5 day long religious Hindu program. रिसेंटली हमारे यहाँ लक्ष्मी नगरी में शिवपुराण कथा हुई है जिसके ऑर्गेनाइजर थे हमारे यहाँ के एमपी श्री संजय जाधव जी उन्हें उस कथा के लिए हमारी जगह समझ में आई हमने बिना टाइम वेस्ट के लिए किए उनको उसके लिए हाँ बोल दिया और अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह उनका इवेंट आज सक्सेसफुल हो गया हमारे यहाँ कुछ टाइम पहले एक इज्तम भी हुआ था उसके लिए सारे हिंदू भाइयों ने अपनी अपनी जगह दी थी यही हमारे परवनी की स्पेशलिटी इट वॉज वेन पॉलिटिशियन वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ प्लेस टू ऑर्गेनाइज द इवेंट The Sayed family offered their land as a gesture of brotherhood between the two communities. The gesture of this family is winning hearts and is also making rounds on media. Aaj jo se is katha ke aayojan mein sabse aham baat ye thi ki jahan jis jagah par ye itna bada program nakit kiya gaya usme jagah ka jo malik hai wo ek muslim bhai hai aur duniya mein ek misal yahan par parvani mein kaim ki hai. कि हिंदू भाइयों के इस पुराण के कथा में एक मुस्लिम भाई ने हमें जगह यहाँ पर प्राप्त कर दी है एक भाईचारा इस देश में जो बढ़ना चाहिए उसका एक सबसे बड़ा प्रतीक एक मिसाल यहाँ पर दी गई है इट इज थ्रू इंस्टेंसेस लाइक दिस दैट इंडिया स्टैंड एज एन अनडिफीडेबल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सेक्युलर नेशन अराउंड दर्ल्ड And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Revelers dressed in red, some wearing huge masks and belts strung with large copper bells, danced in a Bulgarian village to drive away evil spirits and bring in good health and crops for the new year. Surva is held every January and is a mixture of Christian and pagan rituals that can be traced back to Thracian times. Всички които са извън нашето село, това е единствения празник който идват да го посетат. По една година може да ги няма, но на този ден са на село Кошарево. The dancers are known as Surva cars or cookers and some wear handmade wooden masks decorated with feathers. which can be up to 2 meters high the loud clanging of the bells on their bells is believed to ward off evil and diseases on friday night at the start of the festival survakars danced around a bonfire with flaming torches and paraded for people who came to watch Japanese citizens have started thronging various shrines and temples as the Japanese New Year has officially begun. Omikuji are fortune telling papers 
that predict future. Shiki Hu Kujin are the seven lucky gods of good luck. Witnessing these scenes during the Japanese New Year is quite a common sight. During the month of January in 2023, many people visited the Sensoji Temple in Asakusa, Tokyo to pay their New Year's visit. Due to the new coronavirus, the number of visitors to the Sensoji Temple for Hatsumode has reduced. New Year's visits have been restricted for last two years. So this year, fewer people paid the homage to Hatsumode at Sensoji Temple. Hatsumode is the first visit to a shrine or temple in the new year. This is a traditional Japanese New Year's event. People are thankful for the past year and pray for a safe and peaceful year ahead. <laughs> In Japan, many people had their jobs affected by the new coronavirus for the past three years. Many Chinese people come to Hatsumode wearing Japanese kimonos and Westerners enjoy sceneries at Japanese temples and shrines. In Japan, people can now move freely. Many people can be seen praying for a good new year. A new high-tech study has revealed nearly 1,000 ancient Maya settlements, including 417 previously unknown cities linked by what may be the world's first highway network and hidden for millennia by the dense jungles of northern Guatemala and southern Mexico. It is the latest discovery of roughly 3,000-year-old Maya centers and related infrastructure, according to a statement on Monday from a team from Guatemala Suarez Anthropological Research Foundation overseeing the so-called Nidar studies. LIDAR captured 1,700 um, acres or kilometers squared of terrain, exposing all of the built features and their interconnections with hydraulic systems, with transportation networks, causeways, and residential zones, agricultural zones, and also um, how this cultural system was interconnected with the natural system. The findings were first published last month in the journal Ancient Mesoamerica. All of the newly identified structures were built centuries before the largest Maya city-states emerged, ushering in major human achievements in maths and writing. Lidar technology uses planes to shoot pulses of light into dense forest, allowing researchers to peel away vegetation and map ancient structures below. Among the details revealed in the latest analysis are the ancient world's first ever extensive system of stone highways or superhighways, according to the researchers. The latest finds date to the so-called middle to late pre-classical Maya era from around 1000 to 350 BC, with many of the settlements believed to be controlled by the metropolis known today as El Mirador. Japan is a popular tourist destination around the world. Beautiful, picturesque sceneries and architectural wonders such as Mount Fuji and Kyoto, which are visited by many tourists from around the world. Last October, Japanese government decided to promote travel to domestic travel and ease the entry of foreign tourists. The tourism business in Japan is picking up pace in 2023. In the new year 2023, it is crowded with tourists in Tokyo who are flocking the Imperial Palace, Tokyo Station made of bricks and the sky tree of the 634-meter-high observation tower. It's an incredible, Tokyo is an incredible city. Yeah, it's, uh, it's much bigger than what I'm used to back home, but uh, the people are very friendly and very welcoming. The people here are very safe with their masks and, and take a lot of very good precautions, and I feel perfectly safe here. The downtown area of Tokyo is called Ginza. There are luxury brand stores and large department stores. The pedestrian paradise event, which had been cancelled in COVID-19, resumed last year. During the weekend and national holidays, the road is open for visitors.
In a first of its kind initiative, authorities in the Kashi city of Uttar Pradesh have organized a hot air balloon and boat festival to promote the religious city as a budding tourist destination. A total of 12 teams competed with each other in boat racing and agencies from five countries were roped for the hot air balloon event. Locals and tourists in Varanasi city of Uttar Pradesh braved the winter chills and gathered at the Dashashwamed Ghat to witness the boat and hot air balloon festival. An initiative of the Uttar Pradesh Tourism Department, the three-day festival aims to attract more tourists to the holy city. A first one for Kashi, people started thronging the Ghat early morning with edibles, caps and water bottles to secure a perfect spot. Marking the beginning of the event, a mesmerizing cultural dance performance was also organized. इससे तो हम लोग का पहले तो जो हम लोग का शरीर है वो फिटनेस बहुत बढ़िया रहेगा और ये हमारा प्राचीनतम नगरी है और इस जो पिछले बिजगत वर्षों हमारे दादा पर दादा हर हफ्ता में रेस कराते थे अब तो देखने को कम मिलता है लेकिन ये माननीय मोदी योगी जी की तरफ से ये जो कार्य युवाओं को प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है और प्रोत्साहन की राशि भी अच्छी है इसलिए हम लोग इसमें तन मन धन से लगे हैं और ये जीत के साथ इस उत्साह को मनाना चाहते हैं Unlike previous instances, this time there was a professional touch to the teams formed by the tourism department for the race. In a course of three days, a total of 12 teams competed with each other. Prior to the boat race, the morning skies were adorned with beautiful hot air balloons. Agencies in five countries, including the United States, Japan and Canada, were roped in for the festival. आप देख रहे हैं बोट रेसेस हो रही हैं बलून फ्लाइट्स हो रही हैं और टेंट सिटी ऑफ कोर्स लगी है तो हमें वाराणसी को नंबर वन टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन बनाना है पूरे इंडिया में इसीलिए हम ये सारी कोशिशें कर रहे हैं अ थ्री किलोमीटर स्ट्रेच फ्रॉम द शश्वेद घाट टू राज घाट हैज बीन मैप्ड आउट फॉर द रेस द रेस रूट कवर्ड मेहता घाट पंच घाट एंड काशी विश्वनाथ धाम the hot air balloon took off from Central Hindu Boys School and Banaras Hindu University grounds. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ANIN.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>